Alright guys, welcome to your 63rd UDK tutorial, and in this tutorial, we're going to be basically continuing the last tutorial, and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to change or animate materials. So basically, what we did was, we made a material instance constant, and we applied it to the static mesh right here. So now, we basically need a way to reference this material instant constant in Kismet and Matinee, so then we can tweak the settings of it. However, there's no way that we can just open Kismet and you know hit new object using material instant constant. Hmm. Maybe if we you know if we select this and then open this. No, it's not working. So what we need to do is we need to add something called a material instance actor. And this actor is gonna link your material instance constant to it and then we can reference that actor in matinee and it's basically the exact same thing as referencing your material so in order to do this go ahead and make sure you have your material instance constant selected and in your actor classes select material instance actor now go ahead and right click and now you can see it says add material instance actor here now this is basically an object that you can link to a material instance so you can reference it in matinee so basically this actor and your material instance are going to be the exact same thing so you're probably asking alright how does this actor know which material it's supposed to reference is it supposed to reference this material this material this material well we need to tell it in the properties so go ahead and hit F4 open up the properties and make sure you have your material instance constant selected and we're just going to hit use from content browser and now this material actor right here is associated with this material instant constant so this constant and this actor are basically the same thing so now we can go ahead and X out uh, our content browser finally and let me think if there's anything I'm free in I think I should be good so now that this is associated with this material go ahead and open Kismet and what I'm going to be doing is creating a new matinee. So go ahead and right click and hit new matinee. And now let me just bring that up a little bit. And I guess I can go ahead and open matinee right now. And let me make sure everything is looking pretty good already. So go ahead and right click. And of course we need to add a new empty group. And we'll just name this door material looks pretty good so now what we need to do is we need to add a new track inside this group and the track is going to edit the material so go ahead and right click and under new vector material parameter track this is the track we add if we want to edit material parameters so of course we're going to grab that one and in order to do this we need to look at it in the curve editor so go ahead and hit curve editor and I'm just going to go ahead and give myself a better view and get rid of that loop and now I'm going to add a couple keyframes in our animation so I guess we'll just keep this five seconds long might as well so go ahead and hit enter to add a keyframe at zero seconds and go ahead and scroll to five seconds and hit enter again so our entire animation is five seconds long so now what we need to do is we need to change the colors in the curve editor so what this curve editor actually I kind of forgot an important step. This material parameter track associates, it basically does this. It edits the parameter of a material. So it already knows what material we're using. Let me go ahead and drag that over there. It already knows what material instance we're using. So what we need to do now is we need to say what parameter in that material we want to edit because if you remember from this whenever you're making a material this material that we just made has one parameter but typically materials have dozens and dozens of parameter so in order to tell matinee what parameter of that material we want to edit we need to specify that right here in param name now if you remember my param name was called doors main color now let me go ahead and make sure that all right so it turned black which means it found that color and now we're working in the door main color parameter so basically that's the parameter the main color of the door that we're about to edit so go ahead and select your very first keyframe and if we go ahead and just edit the red color for now again if you don't know what I'm doing make sure you watch my curve editor tutorial 
and I'm going to go ahead and right click this and set the initial value to 1 and go ahead and click OK. So at 0 seconds my door has a red value of 1, a green value of 0, and a blue value of 0. And what we're going to want to be doing is over time, over 5 seconds, we're going to be wanting to changing this door from red to green. So let me go ahead and select red and green so we can see both of them. And at 0 seconds, as you can see, my door starts out at red, all red, no green. So if I go over to 5 seconds and select that keyframe, now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and see my red is good right now because red is fading out, but I want green to fade in. So now let me go ahead and click green and set the value to 1 and go ahead and click OK. So now if I uncheck all of these so we can see all my curves, what we're getting is, and you can see this in the uh, perspective view as well, what we're, all right, well yeah, I guess the only view is our perspective view, but oh well. So what's happening is it's starting out all red and the red is fading out and the green is coming in. So that is our animation right there. So that's basically, well, all I have to talk about. So if we just go ahead and X out of this, and now we say, all right, I already kept that trigger from the last tutorial. So whenever we hit that trigger, go ahead and play this matinee and change your materials color. So now let me go ahead and X out of this. And I guess I can go ahead and test it out right now. So it starts out as red by default. And whenever I hit that trigger, it slowly fades to green over five seconds. So that is how you can edit movement and materials in the UDK. So hopefully you guys understand how to edit materials now. And again, it's not the material you're editing. It's the material instance, which is basically a different version of that material that's editable. So if you have any questions, just make sure to ask me on my forum, thenewboston.com slash forum, and I will be glad to answer them for you. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.